Hello and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial made by Photographish. Before we start I have to tell you that this is my first tutorial in the English language. Uh, as you hear I'm no native speaker so be kind and excuse my little mistakes. So let's start. Today I want to show you how you can make a high quality picture with a professional look without using expensive studio light like this one here. For this picture we just even use the sun as our only light source. Uh, for a better understanding how the picture was made, you can have a look at our lighting set. So first of all, uh, the red one here is our apple, hanging up with some sort of string put on the apple stalk. And behind of the apple, there's a simple black background, like a bed sheet or something like that. Uh, it's very important to position the background in a way that the key light, or in our case, the sunlight, um, don't hit the front of our background, otherwise our background will turn from a clear black to brighter grey tone and we don't prefer that. Um, to brighten up the shadow side, so the dark side um, of our apple, uh, we use a reflector to throw the sunlight back on the shadow side of the apple. Um, the camera position is right in front of the apple so we see here, and uh, the camera settings are an aperture of f6.3, the shutter speed is a two thousandth of a second, so it's very fast to freeze the motion of the water splashes, and the ISO value is about 100, and we shoot in manual focus. The picture quality should be the best, uh, in most cameras it's just raw format. Um, the water splash from the down left side against the apple, we, we splash it down fr from the down left side against the apple, sorry, and put the shutter with a remote controller at the same time. It's quite difficult to get a good picture, so the more pictures you take, the bigger is a chance to get a good one. For example, I took about 70 pictures, something like that, or that, or this, or that one. Uh, so just try it out. After choosing the best picture of our apples, uh, we start editing in Camera Raw. So we go into Photoshop, click on File, Open As, choose as file format Camera Raw, choose our picture, click on Open and the Camera Raw window pops up with our picture inside. First we need to bring up uh, or to brighten up uh, the picture a little bit, so we turn the exposure to 2.2 and the fill light up to 9. Um, to eliminate all the light in the background we increase the blacks uh, to a value of up to a value of 10. And uh, if you like to bring up the contrast you can also increase the contrast and the clarity a little bit. Um, after these settings we click on open image to upload the image into Photoshop. The first thing we do into Photoshop is to sharpen up our image a little bit. So we click on filter, sharpen, unsharp mask and we fill in the values of, of an amount of 90%, a radius of 2 pixels and a threshold of 2 levels in that dialog box. And then we click, uh, we, yeah, we click on OK to confirm that settings. Um, next, is, is next one is to define the proportions of our image with a crop tool. So we position the frame around our apple so that the apple is quite in the middle and confirm that selection by pushing return. Um, and after that we erase the string with our stamp tool. So we zoom in our picture a little bit, choose our stamp tool and for that uh, you have to push the ALT key by clicking in a black area to copy that area. And to paste that area you just have to click and hold the left mouse button and paint over the string. Like that. I do it now a little bit faster because this is a tutorial. So, just like that. Um, to increase the contrast a little bit, we use the adjustment layer levels uh, on the right side here and uh, fade the black one a little bit to the right and the gray and the white one a little bit to the left to bring up 
the white areas in the water splashes. Um, to connect the layers we push just Control E and now we have just one layer. Um, now it's become interesting because we want to colorize the water. So we open the hue saturation adjustment layer, pretty difficult word for a German, for a German guy like me. Uh, we open the adjustment layer and bring up the satura saturation up to a value of 80. Um, and now the layer mask comes into play. We choose the black as our foreground color and fill the layer mask with it. So the layer mask is just black. And now we see that the adjustment layer has no effect on our image anymore. But when we now paint with, wi with a white brush over the layer mask, the effect comes back and the color comes back in our water. Again, a little bit faster. something like that. Um, when we are finished with that we can still change our color of the water with the adjustment layer. So we fade and the color of the water changes. In this case I choose a nice blue and you see that's it. I hope you like my first tutorial in English. The next one will come soon. See you, your photographish.